If the brain is injured, for instance, an auto accident or a burn or whatever, nutritional depletion occurs within 24 hours. You have almost no vitamin C. Slowly, these other vitamins disappear. Your B vitamins disappear very quickly. They're all water soluble. All my patients, I would give uh, vitamins, uh, trace elements to, and the nurses all said, you know, your patients do a lot better than everybody else. As a neurosurgeon, Dr. Russell Blaylock saw the power of the right nutrients to save patients in critical condition. Now it's those touched by environmental toxins as found in food, cleaning agents, and vaccines who benefit from his brain and nutritional medicine expertise. Today, he returns to Vital Science to highlight which nutrients and in which amounts work to defend our brains against the infections, the heavy metals, the pesticides, and other assaults of modern life. Welcome to Vital Science, where we learn how to get healthier from all angles, from the biochemical and nutritional to the things we do that nourish our minds and our souls. I'm Brendan Fallon. Dr. Blaylock is editor of the Blaylock Wellness Report, emphasizing the right nutrition for improving health and preventing disease. Dr. Blaylock, welcome back to Vital Science. Thank you, I appreciate it. Based on your broad knowledge of the brain and your understanding of nutrition, what are the nutrients that are most protective of, of the brain? Yeah, most likely for brain protection are several things, like uh, what's called NAC, which is n cystic. And what it does, it safely produces glutathione in the brain, the most important cell protectant we know of. It's in all your cells. And so I, I would take NAC every day. Uh, acetyl L carnitine, which is uh, utilized by the brain to produce a special transmitter. Uh, it has a lot to do with depression and other neuropsychiatric diseases. Uh, bacopa. Uh, there's a nanobacopa that is very easily absorbed. It increases blood flow through the brain and the heart, and it is very protective, and it has been used for a thousand years uh, to enhance a memory. So it is a supplement that enhances uh, memory function in the brain. Uh, the B vitamins, of course, are, are very important. Uh, the brain uses them constantly. It's not an intermittent thing. It's constant. And so you should take a B vitamin every day to protect uh, brain cells and your metabolism, uh, particularly B12 and uh, folic acid. And we find that in elderly people, they have uh, something like 80% of people in nursing homes are B12 deficient. And about 50% of the elderly outside of nursing home are B12 deficient. Uh, physicians almost never get a B12 level. Uh, so that, that's an important one uh, to get. And all kinds of things like uh, our lipoic acid, uh, which was used uh, during a Chernobyl event. Uh, and it returned the kids to normal in, in terms of their free radical generation. What they were doing, producing free radical in an enormous amount. And they put them on the oral lipoic acid and the incidence of thyroid cancer and, and free radical generation fell tremendously. So it's highly protective uh, of the cell. The problem it has is in some people it will cause hypoglycemia. So you should take it with food, you know, in your meals. Uh, but th there's no excuse for things like uh, uh, type 2 diabetes, which is by far 90% of diabetes in the United States. That's due to consuming uh, too many sugars too many fats, uh, that uh, interfere with insulin function. Uh, these things like nanocurcumin and uh, nanoquercetin and uh, numerous uh, supplements improve all of that. Uh, so uh, we, we've got a, a, a number of these things uh, that can improve brain function and protect your brain, particularly against toxic chemicals, toxic medicines, toxic environmental things like pesticides, herbicides. Roundup uh, is a terrible uh, problem in this country. They've even found it in women's amniotic fluid when they're pregnant. They found it in vaccines. They found it in, in uh, virtually everything. It's just in the air. They even found it in the North Pole where there's no vegetables. <laughs> they found it everywhere. It, it gets in the stratosphere. It travels around the world. Uh, Europe so people are People are inhaling it. Yes. They're inhaling it and they're consuming it. I hope you're enjoying Vital Signs. 
I invite you to share this video with someone you know who may benefit from knowing the right nutrients to improve their brain health. Also, find Vital Signs online to leave a comment by going to epochtv.com. Just click on the Lifestyle tab and scroll down to Vital Signs. If we had to limit the scope to say three to five key nutrients, that if someone is gonna take nutrients, they should definitely take these. I'm sure these will include some of those that you've just mentioned. What would those nutrients be and, and what kind of dosages should people be taking? Well, I'd use the B vitamins and usually it's a mixture of B vitamins. Like B12, uh, I take at, at least 2,000 units a day. And the uh, ascorbic acid, use the kind that's well absorbed that I think it's 100 micrograms a day and at least 50 micrograms a day. And the, the uh, thiamine, at least 100 milligrams a day. And the, the B6, about 50 uh, milligrams of uh, pyridoxine 5 phosphate. And uh, vitamin D, at least 5,000 units a day. Uh, these, these are the, the doses that uh, most people take just for maintenance of good health. The vitamin D, below 2,000 international units, they found the blood levels not increased at all. And yet most food has 400 international units of vitamin D, which does nothing. And it's the wrong form of vitamin D. Uh, what you want to utilize is vitamin D3. So you want to have regular checks on your vitamin D level. You don't want it too high. The level that they say is normal is far too low. They say 35 nanograms per milliliter, which, which is way too low. should be 65 to 100. At that level, it's going to protect you against getting infected. It's going to make you get over infections quicker. It's going to detoxify your cells. It removes toxic metals. It does an enormous number of things. There's a supplement called NAC, N-acetyl cysteine, about 900 milligrams a day. It uh, increases your cellular glutathione. You're by far most powerful antioxidant. It removes toxic metals. And nanocurcumin, which is a form of curcumin that enters the body very easily, enters the brain very easily, is highly protective of the brain, and it removes aluminum as well as other toxic metals. It even uh, drastically slows prion diseases, which were 100% fatal. Once that nanocurcumin is absorbed, which is not as curcumin, it goes all through the brain. And it's a highly protective against a number of terrible brain diseases and helps get rid of this aluminum and neutralizes the aluminum. And so, I, you know, these are the things that I write about in the newsletter. It's, it's what these things are doing. There's things I'm working on that will prevent misfolding of proteins uh, in brain cells, which is the number one cause of neurodegeneration. So I've written a newsletter recently on one of them, uh, Amacetyl cornicine, uh, which uh, is not uh, destroyed in the blood and will protect the brain, the nervous system, the heart, uh, the kidneys uh, from damage. Most of these you can get off of Amazon or directly from the company or uh, but Amazon carries most of these things. The UN and the government's trying to outlaw. They're, they're in the process of, of outlawing most of these things. In Europe, you can't take over 100 milligrams of vitamin C a day in France. It's against the law. If the brain is injured, for instance, an auto accident or a burn or whatever, nutritional depletion occurs within 24 hours. You have almost no vitamin C. Slowly, these other vitamins disappear. Your B vitamins disappear very quickly. They're all water soluble. We would see patients who would be in a coma for months being fed just sugar water. They got no vitamins. Uh, what we find is if you uh, take a patient that's uh, in that condition and give glucose to them without the vitamins, particularly vitamin B1, thiamine, it'll destroy the cells particular cells in the brain, particularly the hippocampus, which has to do with memory and emotional control. All my patients I would give uh, vitamins, uh, trace elements to, and the nurses all said, you know, your patients do a lot better than everybody else. 